In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to synthesize 4-bar linkage mechanisms using MotionGen. Along the left side of the screen here is the synthesis menu. From top to bottom, these buttons allow you to add pose constraints, align constraint, and point constraints. In order to synthesize a mechanism in MotionGen, you'll need at least 5 constraints, so let's start with pose constraints. A pose constraint defines a position of the coupler along its path. I'm going to add a pose constraint by pressing on the screen where I'd like the pose to be and dragging to the right in order to set the angle of the pose. Now this one position isn't enough to synthesize a mechanism. We need at least five constraints. So let's start by adding four more poses. I'm going to add one here and here, here, and the last one right here. Now you can see that once I've added the fifth constraint, a linkage has been synthesized and you'll notice that under the synthesis menu a few more buttons have appeared. These are all the available dyads that have been generated. The first two are automatically selected, but you can choose any two dyads to give you a four bar linkage that solves this problem. So I can choose these two, or these two, or maybe these two. Now we've added five constraints to the workspace, but what happens if we add more than five? Well, we can add six or seven or more constraints, but there's no way to find an exact solution to this problem. As you can see, MotionGen still gives you a solution, but this is an approximate solution. So while the path of the coupler is very close to most of the constraints, it doesn't pass exactly through them. If you'd like to select poses that the coupler should pass through exactly, you can double tap a pose and check this box that says is exact. So now the coupler will pass through this pose exactly and approximate the rest. You can select up to five exact poses. So now that we've seen how to synthesize a mechanism using five or more pose constraints, what can we do with fewer than five pose constraints? I'm going to clear the screen here, and I'll draw four poses. And you can see that MotionGen hasn't given us a solution. That's because in order to do four position synthesis, you need an extra constraint, and that will be a line constraint. This constraint dictates that both of the ground pivots will be placed on this line. I'm going to tap and drag to draw the line, and you can see that a mechanism has been generated, and both of the ground pivots do, in fact, fall on that line. And now that we have that line constraint, we can add more poses, and once again, MotionGen will give us an approximate solution. So that's four position synthesis, but we can also synthesize a mechanism using three positions. I'm going to delete this linkage. So I'll add three poses here, and since we need five total constraints, we need to add two more. And these will be point constraints. So these actually define where the ground pivots will be placed. Just tap on the screen where you'd like the pivots to be placed, and the linkage is generated for you. As you can see, the linkage passes through all three points. And you can move these point constraints if you'd like, and the linkage will change to fit the constraints. Now if you'd like, you can actually modify these point constraints. If you double tap on one of them, a little dialog pops up that says, is moving. Now if I check this box, you can see that the linkage has changed so that now the moving pivot actually passes through this point instead of the ground pivot. And you can still move this constraint around if you'd like. And you can also do this to both constraints.
So that's how you can synthesize four bar linkages using three, four, or five positions using MotionGen.